Hey everyone, welcome to Uninhibited, a new web series dedicated to forensic DNA analysis, brought to you by me, Peter John McNanny, and my fellow field application scientist, Nick Andrews over here. We're both former DNA analysts turned field application scientists for Thermo Fisher Scientific. So Nick, novel coronavirus. The coronavirus causing us to shelter in place. How you been doing holding up in the house for this long? I've been, it's been challenging. Yeah, what have you been up to? Well, funny you ask, but I have been... Um, <laughs> how's your uh, shower to day ratio going? <laughs> well, we should probably just be thankful that this isn't smell vision Yeah, I like hear you. I hear you. I'm not doing so good myself. I noticed. But hey, we want to take a moment to recognize you guys out there, the forensic DNA analysts. They're doing a fantastic job either at the workplace or at home, working remotely and dealing with all those challenges. Yeah, I want to second that. We know that the work has to continue. You guys are essential. There's cases that need to get processed. There's victims that need their answers out there. Um, And we know you're facing a lot of challenges and you're having to come up with these creative ways to get your work done. I've heard from a lot of people that analyzing data is probably one of the challenging things because they can't really do that from home right now. Yeah, definitely. Just like differential extractions have to tie you to the lab, so can your DNA analysis software if you can't use it at home or outside of the lab. So we want to take today to talk about that. So what would that be? What would, how would that work? You're all familiar with Applied Biosystems GMapper IDX software, but you're probably familiar with the workflow where you have a full installation at the agency, at your work, and you use your client installation to connect to that data. What we're going to talk about today is downloadable full versions of GMapper IDX that you can install on your portable laptop today in order to create projects, analyze data, and even export that data and share for technical review. That would be perfect. Like what versions are available? We're offering three different versions, 1.4, 1.5, and the newest version, 1.6, of the GMapper IDX software. And these are the full versions. So each version has its own database that will allow you to analyze data independent of any other computer. How does that work in terms of a lab when you you have your analysis method that's set at the lab, you have your panels, your bins, everything like that? How does that work from this side? Yeah, so it's really important that you want to make, t- make sure or maintain your analysis method that you would normally use at work. So you can either copy that or you could recreate it, but it's, uh, it's way easier to copy that from work or have somebody that's at work copy it and send it to you. And then you can easily import that into the full version that you install on your laptop. And the same thing can go with table settings or plot settings, size standards. So it would be exactly the same as what you're doing in the lab. Yep. That way you don't have to worry about any differences in analysis between individuals. And it's just like you were at work doing data analysis on GMAP or IDX. That's awesome. First thing you want to do is download the installation files. Those are going to be available through a web link that can be provided to you either by myself, Nick, another FAS, or the HID tech support personnel. Once you have that link, it's gonna be a direct download to a folder that's gonna have all of the installation files. A couple caveats here, you're gonna wanna make sure that that downloaded folder and those files don't have any special characters or spaces as the, the downloadable versions might have those. But we'll go through that a little bit later. Once you download it, there are a few prerequisites that you wanna do. And again, we'll go through those in more detail a little bit later, but it's it's basically just an installation file that you double click on and then go through all of those steps. Yeah. So it's pretty easy and then people can be analyzing at home. Yeah, pretty straightforward. Once you're done with the installation, you're of course going to want to import that analysis method that we talked about so that you're doing the same type of analysis that you would be doing at the lab. And then when it comes to technical review, you can export them as a .ser file send them via email or through a cloud service or some kind of VPN network that your agency might allow. And that technical reviewer can import that project, verify your calls, send it back to you, et cetera. And then you have your finalized, analyzed DNA that can then go through uh, interpretation and reporting. Oh, that's great. That's perfect. And that's what everyone needs. So they can just export the validated analysis parameters that they've been using and assuming that this fits in with their standard operating procedures, they could just install that or import them into the trial version that they've downloaded on their laptops at home. 
And yeah, and it really takes away some of those limitations to getting more DNA analysis and testing done by a laboratory when a lot of those employees are working at home. Right. So validation, standard operating procedures are the main things that you take into account. But so yeah. the biggest thing about this is installing the software. And it's something I struggled with in the beginning. So can you take us through that installation? Please? Absolutely. So here we are on the Windows desktop. I have just downloaded the GeneMapper IDX software files. Let's take a look at that. I've placed this folder, GeneMapper IDX v1.6 files, on the root drive or C drive of my laptop. You'll notice that this file name for the folder has spaces and it also has a period. These might not be acceptable for the installation to run this may not be the exact same file name that you download, but as an example, the best thing to do to remove illegal characters would be rename this installation folder something as simple as possible. I like to use GMIDX. So now that we've renamed that folder, if we double click inside of it, you'll see a number of files. Included in these files is setup.exe and executable. If we have already gone through the process of the prerequisites for installation, we would then double click on that setup file. But just to go through those other prereqs beyond renaming the installation folder, we also want to disable virus scan and disable Windows firewall just for the purposes of installation. So I will search for firewall and you'll see several things were, will pop up here. If I click on firewall and network protection, you'll see that I have firewall turned off for every option here. You want to make sure this is turned off and the button says turn on. That was Windows firewall. If we go back, excuse me, and search for our virus scan settings, if you have a secondary application, such as Norton antivirus, you can use the application to disable or turn off virus scan settings that way. Or you can search in the Windows settings for virus and threat protection. Here you'll see that I have virus and threat protection settings turned off. So the button says, turn them on. Those are the two things that you want to disable as far as Windows settings to ensure a good installation of GMapper IDX software. So to begin the installation process for GMapper IDX software, I want to double click on the setup.exe file located inside of the installation folder. In doing so, it will begin the install shield wizard. And you might see a pop-up window here that wants to confirm uninstall of any previous version. If you have already restarted your computer following uninstall of a previous version, or if there were no previous version installed, you could click OK here and continue on with the installation process. However, if you have not restarted the computer following a previous uninstallation of GMapper IDX software, you could hit cancel here ensure that you uninstall the software, followed by a restart of the computer, and then relaunch of the setup.exe file to continue with installation. And that is pretty much it. Wow, yeah. Well, thank you very much for taking us through that. That's a really good resource for anyone who's never installed this software before, or for myself who always needs reminders on how to do it. But for one last closing thing, if you had top five tips and tricks on how to make sure your installation was always successful, what do you think they would be? If I were going to guarantee a successful installation, my top five tips and tricks would include number one, after downloading, make sure there are no special characters in the folder uh, that you have downloaded that file into. The best thing to do is to copy it into the root drive, like a C drive of that computer and ensure that the folder, you can even rename it, is short and doesn't have any spaces, dollar signs, any illegal characters 
because it won't harm your system, but it will halt the installation if it doesn't like the directory or the file path. Right. Number two, always disable for installation your virus scan. So if you have a separate application for virus scan, or you're using the built-in virus scan and threat detection for Windows, you want to disable that for installation. That will definitely halt an installation of the GMapper IDX software. Number three, very similar to number two, disable for the purposes of installation, your Windows firewall. That's wanting to prevent any major changes to the software, but also connections to the software. And even though you're installing this on your laptop and it's not really connecting to any other computer, the software still wants to be able to connect to other computers, even if it won't be doing that. So disable that firewall, that Windows firewall. These are all easy things to do to disable within the Windows software. Next, you're gonna to want to import your approved or validated analysis methods, uh, display settings, plot settings, all of those objects we talked about before to ensure that you're following your laboratory's standard operating procedures for data analysis. And then lastly, number five, follow the recommendations in the installation guide. So we will provide for you the GMapper IDX software installation guide which actually goes through all of these different tips and tricks, but in a slightly different way, uh, we wanted to provide you this information to ensure a successful installation of your Applied Biosystems GMapper IDX software. That's great. And obviously never forget that your FAS and HID tech support are here to help you if you need anything. Yep, and we can be contacted via email, via the phone numbers that are in our email signatures. You can contact your local field application scientist or FAS, your local account manager, or even your HID technical support specialists at the email that Nick is gonna provide you. <laughs> I think that covers everything then, right? Sure does. Before we go, just want to say we really miss you guys. We miss seeing our customers. We hope you're staying safe. And Nick, any last words? I just want to reiterate what you're saying. I miss seeing all of you. I am so sick of talking to my plants as they never talk back to me. I uh, can't wait to see you all at the next conferences that we can actually get to. You probably won't recognize me the next time you see me with my full beard. And, you know, send us in your sourdough recipes or banana bread. Please. That's it for our first episode of Uninhibited. All right, stay safe, keep your masks on. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. But there's no reason why you can't do data analysis at home. Assuming your protocol say you can. <laughs> Shut up, Nick. <laughs> Shouldn't tie you to the lab. You should be able to analyze data at home. At home, where you analyze data. It's going to be really challenging to get your work done if you're working at home. So... So what does this thing do? <laughs> Should we do a much more subtle British accent the whole time? Oh, that would be lovely. That would be quite nice. I like it. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. But just like differentials have to keep you into the lab, data analysis does not mean that you have to be at the lab. <sighs> so you can't do differential analysis at home. Start over. Totally wrong. I would love it if we can just get an excellent version of Gene Mapper IDX onto my laptop at home. <laughs> oh yes, the IDX version 1.6 is quite lovely. Ding! <laughs> Perfect. I didn't start with it, actually. Nick. <laughs> you used it. Again. Pretty much everything we can talk about for this episode, right? Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say absolutely. Talk to me. I'm lonely. Uh, Making me nauseous. There's a cat on my table behind my computer. Oh.